going down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can sell a Cindy Sherman for two million bucks right now. <laughs> I doubt it. <clears throat> but, you know, these things, you know, come on, we're in, we, we go through economic cycles. So, obviously, uh, art is lower on the food chain than food. <laughs> so you need food and you need a place to live. And then, if you have some extra income and you're really hooked on art, then you can find it. I mean, there's a lot of little galleries opening. Where I live in the Lower East Side Chinatown section, and there's a lot of little galleries down there, and they're showing some pretty good work, and it's pretty reasonably priced. And I think that, uh, you know, I think things are going to change. I definitely think that the there's going to be a change in the Chelsea situation. I can actually see it sort of shifting because, uh, well, for one thing, that's very expensive real estate. And the other thing is, is that, that um, uh, you know, people will find another way to, to get to the art. You know, they'll, they'll find their, and artists are the ones who are going to be the one who, you know, they'll be establishing what actually happens with the art market itself. So I think that this is this could be a very, very interesting time. I think we might see some great new work by, you know, great young artists that are making the kind of work that uh, we haven't quite seen yet. So I, I think we're on the brink of something exciting. <laughs>